All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God. Change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning.
This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. So for now, I need help powering up the mainframe. I have to visit Madison in the Red City.
had everything they wanted. Power, wealth, prestige. And it made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and laziness breeds stupidity. Rest assured, I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. John Henry Eaton builds a country.
deal.
Hey, good to see you again. What do you need? Fresh. No. Bye. Why bother? Where could we go even if we did escape? We'd just die in the wasteland. Why bother? Please, help us. It, there's no point.
Hey, who are you? Right. What do you want? Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants have attacked recently and carried off some of our friends. Come in, just don't cause any trouble, okay? Looks like the muties missed one. Hey, don't get any bright ideas about trying anything. We may not look it, but every one of us is a trained killer. Oh, who am I kidding? Look, we're in trouble here. If you want to help, great. If not, just please don't kill anyone while you're here. Well, we've got super mutants out that way and slavers up that way. Take your pick. They both come in here drag off as many as they can carry, and shoot whoever puts up a fight. The best we can ever hope for is that they get here at the same time and fight over who gets to kill us. And where are we going to go? Megaton won't have us, Lamplight won't take us back, and Rivet City is too far. Besides, the bunch of us can't even hold this town. Can you imagine us schlepping across the wasteland? There aren't many of us left. There's me and Pappy. Red runs the clinic, but she's been taken by the mutant. Kimba does what she can. And there's Bittercup. She's just about as useless as a human being can be. Time Bomb was hurt in the last raid, so he's out. That's about it. The mutants and slavers have taken everyone else. Just us and a couple of guns are all that's left. Yeah, we'll see. Look, the only place to go is the town hall, and that's just a meeting spot for us. There aren't any traders or anything around here. What? You've never seen a super mutant before? They're mean and ugly and scary as hell. They came and rounded up a bunch of us and carried them off. God, they must be doing awful things to them. I'd go rescue them, but then who'd defend Big Town? I patrol every day now. And I got a little present for those muties when they come back. You know what it is? This kick-ass gun. That's what. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. They went northeast. Probably to the Germantown police headquarters. They have guns, and they're mean. So you better be careful. You gonna rescue them, or what? That's totally awesome! Yeah! Okay. While you're out on your mission, I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Cool! Hey. Did I show you my new gun? It's totally awesome. We all used to live in a place called Little Lamplight, but they have a rule about age. You reach 16, and you're out. Didn't matter, though, because you just pack your things and head to Big Town. All the adults go there, and there's plenty to eat. Plenty to eat, all right, if you like eating bullets. I've lost count of how many times I've been shot at. Keep an eye out for muties. Hi there, I'm Bittercup. No one understands me. You're just like all the others around here. Finally, someone who doesn't judge me. You know the people here are just so quick to assume that they know everything about you. I mean, like, just because I look different doesn't mean that I'm some sort of freak, you know? It's like, hello, this world sucks. No one gets that. They're all like, blah, 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 blah. What's wrong with that girl? 
God. It's so nice to have someone who understands. I mean, sure, when I left Little Lamplight, I was happy to be out of there. I was dating Pappy then, you know. I got here, and he was like, Big Town will be safe. But it wasn't. This place is always under attack. But I don't date liars. So I dumped his ass and got with Flash. But that didn't last very long. Me and Time Bomb were a thing for a while, too. Don't you judge me. It's not my fault that the only guys in this town are liars and jerks. Oh, you can't break up with me. We're all going to die soon. Well, duh. Why do you think I'm breaking up with you? When I die, the last thing I want to worry about in my afterlife is breaking up with my once alive boyfriend. Priorities! I wander around town to find chalk and makeup sometimes. Not like there's any place to buy stuff. Oh yeah? What is it? Um, not that I care what you think. That's why I never go out during the day. The moon has such a better shine to it than the sun. You're not, um, seeing anyone right now, are you? Oh, um, well, I need to get going, but come back and visit me sometime, okay? You saved my life. Thank you. Damn. What... what happened? Wow. That's... you saved my life. Thanks. You're a good person, you know that? All right. I'll be careful. I promise. Anything for you, man. What do you need? We did? Wow. That's news to me. How long was I unconscious again? She didn't, you know, do anything to me while I was out. Did she? That might explain those weird dreams. Red should have been here, but she probably got dragged off by the mutants. Damn it. Damn it! I remember screaming and gunfire. One of those big, hulking things shot at me. That's all I can think of. Whoa, that was a long time ago. I'm not sure when, but everyone who grows up in lamplight ends up here. Not too many of us left. Watch yourself out there. Remember to keep an eye on the north.
for real? I'm safe? I, I need to get out of here. Here, take these supplies. It's all I have, but they'll only slow me down. You're right. It's dangerous out here. I... I have to go, before more of them come.
Thanks. Who are you? Never mind, I don't care right now. Let's go get Red and get out of here. You lead, I'll follow. Let's go. Move it. All right, move it. Hell yeah! Lay it on me. Right. Let's go. Unlock the... Glad to see you're alive, Shorty. Me too. You're rescuing Shorty and me? Thanks. I thought we were goners for sure. I think the others are dead. Or worse. Me too. I'm extremely lucky you came along. Everyone else is dead or taken away to who knows where. Let's hurry back to Big Town. Now let's get the hell out. We can talk back at Big. I'll take whatever you've got at this point. know what you're doing. Out of here. Remember to keep an eye on the north. What? Did he rescue Don't I count for something? He rescued me at least. You never listen to me. Thanks for helping us. I just hope we can survive another attack. Probably won't. I wish it were. When I'm gone, I'll be sure to haunt this place. 
if the I heard how you helped out Time Bomb. I'm not sure why you did it, but thanks. I only hope that he lives long enough to appreciate your help. Now, did you need something? Keep an eye out. Things are looking good here, bud. You've seen those super mutants and their appetite. There's no way Big Town will survive with them around. From the look of things, I'd say a super mutant sat down in a ditch one day and shat out this town. I dragged myself here from Lamplight. I didn't believe all the stories about Big Town, but I wasn't about to let everyone else go there without me. A few dozen attacks on the town later, and here I am. Almost an ingredient in a super mutant chili cook-off. If those muties try to take me again, I'll give them something to worry about for a change. At least we made it another day, right? Anything for you, man. What do you... Watch... You need something? There aren't many of us left to run stores or anything like that. You could stop by Red's clinic if you need stitching up. Whenever those... things come, they grab a few people instead of killing them. No one knows what happens after that. No one wants to know. There's... there's always so much blood after they come, and then someone has to... move the bodies. Oh, Little Lamplight is where most of us came from. Red and Pappy and Flash and Bittercup. We used to play together when we were kids. Then, we got old and we had to leave. Those were the rules. So we packed up and headed here, like we were supposed to. No one told us it would be like this. We never have fun anymore. And most of us, most of us are dead. I'm so tired of being frightened all the time. Here to help me out again? <sighs> I'm glad to be safely back home. Thank you. You're a real hero, you know that? I was going to offer you a reward, but I can put the caps to use buying medicine and supplies. Thanks. I know you've already risked your life once already, but I heard the mutants talking about another attack. They'll probably be here soon. Really? Th that's great! I'll let everyone know. You're a real hero, you know that? Feel it. Uh, what? You? I gave you the welcome. There was a super mutant attack recently, and where there's one big ugly, there are ten more just waiting to grab you by the throat. Then the slavers will come and pick off what's left of your carcass and drag any survivors to Paradise Falls. Nearby, slavers move quick and come from all directions. Someone else might know where they nest. There isn't anything here that hasn't been destroyed or dragged away. You're better off scavenging the dead out in the wasteland. Two very angry types of movements. Slow, lumbering, powerful movements. And jerky, erratic, excitable movements. Both coming for the kill. Sometimes you'll see small, tired dots on the horizon instead of angry, anxious ones. Those are settlers who come here from lamplight. Bye. What? Can I count for something? 
They rescued me, at least. Anything for you, man. What do you need? You got a problem? I told her things would be safe here. How was I supposed to know all those stories were bunk? Then she dumped me. Called me a liar. I was lied to myself, all right. Well, that didn't matter to her. Then she started dating Flash and got all spooky. Good riddance. Yeah, I can do it. We got two. Yeah, you're telling me. Everything that could go wrong goes wrong. The super mutants and slavers seem to take turns beating the crap out of us. There's no way for us to fight back, so we just keep building barricades around town. Now we've been pushed back all the way. Nowhere left to run now. Most of us... We're all... I'm going to build a little shrine to you. All I need is some incense sticks and candles. Don't be a stranger. I'm starting to feel safe for the first time in a long time. Thanks to you. Thanks again for everything. I got to admit, I didn't think you were one of the good ones, but what the hell? Thanks! <laughs> Things might not be so bad after all. Eh, who am I kidding? There's still plenty of things out there that want to kill us. At least I didn't die today. I got you to thank for that, so thanks. Have a crappy... Ah, what the hell. Have a good one. Yay! I got a lot to thank you for. I don't know how to do it. Here. Take this. It's always given me good luck. I like you. Die. Remember to keep an eye on the door. This place was great. We did it! You did it! You helped us defeat the mutants! Oh, we'll all feel safer now. Thank you so much. Oh, that. I know all about that nonsense. Flash isn't the smartest cookie in the jar, but he deserved better than Bittercup. She wouldn't be so bad if she just faced reality instead of doing that whole spooky girl routine. Yep, as long as you've still got the ass to sit down on, I can fix you up. I'm also in the market for medical supplies. Big Town? A fairy tale, really. The lamplighters who turn 16 aren't allowed to stay in the caves, but they have to go somewhere. And to encourage people to leave, they invented Big Town, the great grown-up place that you got to go to when you became an adult. I think you can see how true those stories were. Sure, I could patch you up. Nothing too serious. I don't work for free, though. Let's say 75 caps. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> nah, just kidding. It'll probably hurt a lot. Hold still. I hate it here. What are you supposed to actually do if you ever find some- Feel better? You should. That was the good stuff. Need anything else? Sure. Another satisfied customer. Thanks again for saving my life at the police station. Something on patrol, huh? At Scare least them we made off it with another that day, rusty right? pistol of yours? Maybe they'll be scared off by your makeup first. Watch the wastes. Keep track of... 
Bye.